Hello viewers, you're welcome to this very important lecture on the African longfish, Protopteris annectans. Protopteris annectans is a very unique fish we want to talk about. In today's lecture, we're going to look at the classification of this fish. Now, the African longfish, Protopteris annectans, is a fish in the phylum Chordata, the kingdom Animalia, and it belongs to the uh, the class Sacopterygii. It belongs to the class Sacopterygii and it also belongs to the other Rapidistia. Now this fish is very unique in all senses. If you are very observant, you will notice that it has some unique features that are not common to all fishes. It has some unique features that are quite uncommon to other fishes. The class Sacopterygii is made up of uh, lobe finned fishes, lobe finned fishes, okay, in the phylum Chordata. They are lobe finned fishes, fishes that have lobe fins. And this African longfish, which is ill like in appearance, belongs to this subclass, um, this, the other Rapidistia. It belongs to the other Rapidistia. And these organisms in the other Rapidistia are found in Africa, South America, and uh, basically in Africa and South America. Now the African longfish, basically, uh, when it wants to reproduce, it actually spawn in the, at the bottom of the lake where it uh, produces a nest, it builds a nest, and then it lays its egg in a pit on the bottom of the water course. The tiny lever, emerge a week after the eggs are laid and the larva actually when they emerge they have long bright red tusk like or fin like external gills which they use for breathing until lungs are fully developed as adults the african longfish makes use of lungs it breathes atmospheric air the african longfish breathes atmospheric air when it wants to breathe it comes out of the water, it actually comes out of the water to breathe oxygen, atmospheric oxygen, and then goes back inside the water. So that's one very unique feature of the African longfish. It does not breathe dissolved oxygen like other fishes, but it breathes atmospheric air. This African longfish breathes atmospheric air instead of dissolved oxygen, breathes atmospheric oxygen instead of dissolved oxygen. The African longfishes are voracious, eating every a variety of aquatic animals, including members of their own species. In captivity, the African longfishes eat earthworms. They also eat pieces of meat, tadpoles, small frogs, and small fishes when they are in captivity, you can feed them with those things and even can even feed them with the, the fish feed. Now, the African longfish basically have uh, a pair of lungs that are around the alimentary canal, around, around the, the digestive system. And those lungs are quite rudimentary. They are like those of the, the amphibians, both in structure and function. They are not as developed as those of the reptiles, birds, and mammals, but they have that unique feature. This African longfish has another very unique feature. They are actually um, almost blind. Their eyes are usually very small. They are almost blind, and they are very mobile pelvic and pectoral fins. They have very mobile pelvic and pectoral fins that are limb-like or thread-like, and this mobile pelvic and pectoral fins are very sensitive. They have very sensory functions and they, are, they use them to observe the environment to actually get sensory impulses that directs the fish on exactly how to uh, navigate the aquatic ecosystem or how to manage the ecosystem. The, this African longfish have a distinction from the Australian longfish uh, Protopterus utopicus, which actually have broad limbs, 
they 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 broad uh, pelvic and pectoral fins these african lungfish have instead of having the broad pectoral and pelvic fins it has very thin pelvic and pectoral fins and because of this pelvic and pectoral fins the uh, biosense in nigeria usually call it the breast fish in a jaw we call it a biasini in a jaw language most people call it a biasini now one very unique feature of this fish is that this fish carries out estivation when the water in the pond has fully dried up when the water in the pond has dried up the african long fish is able to build a cocoon it builds a cocoon and then it digs into the soil and then builds a cocoon and covers itself and then it shuts down all its metabolic activities it stops to eat stops breathing and stops excretion and remains in that cocoon until when the pond has water so estivation takes place in the african longfish when the pond has dried up when the pond is fully dried up it undergoes estivation and then when uh, it rains when precipitation occurs and the pond is saturated by water when it has water it now comes out of its cocoon the African longfish can actually remain in that state of estivation for even up to two years. It uses that mechanism, that method to survive drought and harsh environmental conditions. So the African longfish is quite unique. It's a very unique kind of fish. And actually it is hardy, very hardy. It can survive harsh environmental conditions. So you're very appreciated for watching this video. May you continue to watch more of our videos in my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.